beginning of September. And it's with Julie Lovelock. That's here. right. Yeah. And we're going to just walk in because there's a guy in here called Tim, who is the events manager, I think. And he's just going to show us a little bit around the red brick building so we can just have a quick tour to show you what goes on here because there's so much stuff that does go on here and it's just um, a lovely area for people to come to. And um, I was talking to someone on the way here and it's a really up and coming place. So there's lots of stuff going on here. There's some of the people that have got things going on here as well, I think. And um, I'm just going to go and see Tim and he can tell us a bit more. So, come on, come this way. This is this reception area. And uh, Tim's at the bar here. I had a word. Just don't forget, sorry. Um, um, sorry, Tim's here today and he's just going to show us a little bit about the red brick building and um, what goes on here. So this is the bar area, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Bokka Bar. Um, and you have quite a few events here, don't you? Yeah, not so many events in the Rock Bar. It was more about food and drink yeah. and sort of give it at the heart of the place. Yeah, anyway. yeah. But the events is more next door. Yeah, and what sort of menu is it? Is it a, is it a vegan menu? Or? It's not a vegan menu, it's a mixed menu. Loads, oh, of, so. loads of local, sorry, loads of, <laughs> loads of local produce and stuff. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, the charity is the best. So the best quality, but yeah. quite, quite yeah. affordable. It's quite a reasonable price, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's quite reasonable, so, yeah. Yeah, so, so, it's excellent. Yeah, okay, that's brilliant. Very nice brilliant. coffee and stuff. And so, and this, well, we were just in this area here. This is absolutely lovely. Okay. Actually, yeah. I just felt a, a really lovely um, sensation when I walked in here. Cool. Thank you. Because this is where you do meditation, isn't it? Yeah, so this is, this is basically... Yeah, okay. So this whole space is the event space. Yeah. So this is where we do the gigs and the DJs, that, okay. over that bit. Okay. And we do all okay. kinds of them, lectures and... Mm -hmm. Little stage there. Yeah. Lots, lots and lots. And also, you know, Tai Chi and yoga and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like so lots of social stuff. It's yeah, there's nice. such a beautiful energy in here as well. It feels calm when you walk in. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You do music in here as well, Yeah, lots, lots of music, yeah. And then all the way... But one thing I love about the place is that we try to bring together all these things in the same space. So there's kind of art and... Yeah. Yeah. You know, music and whatever else. But then this is, yeah, this is a meditation space. So every morning we do a meditation, 9.30, with okay. crystal bowls I do. And Lovely. Stuff like and so, you do the crystal bowls. Yeah. yeah. And it's the peace wave. So it's called a, well, it's called a Hiroshima peace wave. So it's lit from the atomic fires of Hiroshima at the end of the Second World War. Okay. Been kept burning ever since. as a kind Lovely. of symbol of remembrance That's and beautiful. forgiveness and transformation yeah. and stuff. And yeah, so beautiful. it's been lasting for 13 years. Yeah. We and, and, and do you get many people turn up for this meditation? It varies. Um, six, seven this morning. So yeah, that's lovely. So that's, at, so that's at 9.30. Yeah, it's just yeah. open. We have a kind of little regular crew, but it's a bit... And it's that free to come to, yeah. Right? yeah? Yeah, no, no. And what if you can't, like, sit down on the on the cushion? So you have oh, people just sit in chairs, yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, 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 so, yeah absolutely. So, so all yeah. welcome. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah, okay, so that's lovely, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so if you have a quick look at this place here, this is absolutely beautiful. You can see the road from there, but you don't feel that at all you just feel like you're sort of away from everything it just feels so calm and lovely and serene good at the moment and, yeah and I, as i said I do, I, I do know that they do music in here but um it's just a lovely area really it's, yeah, it's yeah, a nice yeah, space it's, isn't yeah, it, yeah. It's lovely. So, so this has been going for a couple of years now hasn't it Richard? uh open december 25. Yeah. it's really the up and coming place in glastonbury now isn't it i mean people a lot of people come here yeah, yeah. it's quite it's quite thriving it's, yeah it's I mean, we don't, obviously, we're kind of into Glastonbury generally, so we don't want to, you know, we want the other, but, you know, we don't want to sort of dra draw everything here. Yeah. We want them to, but, yeah. but yeah, we are trying to, you know, it's, it's an exciting place because it's big enough to bring lots of things together in the yeah. same place. So, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. And also you've got lots of um, people work, um, rent out workshop space, don't they? Yeah, all kinds of, I mean, yeah, I don't know if you want, do you want to see any yeah. of that Yeah, we do want to see that, but also we're going to have a look at your artwork as well. Oh, yeah, because sure. oh, we'll, yeah, oh, yeah. we'll look at Faze on yeah. the way back down. But upstairs, yeah, upstairs is like a hub. Yeah. Hot desk hub, so people can just hire desks yeah. just for the just for the by the hour or by the day. All right. Uh, so that's at the far end, and then and there's you've got a, some sort of art room. Artisans, so yeah. there's lots of artisans making you know all kinds of design. And, and there was a drama dress. group here, wasn't there? Yeah, there's a studio there. Where we do lots of drama, um, kids activities, all kinds yeah. of stuff. And, and there's there. a child. Wasn't there a youth club here as well? Every Friday we do a youth club for um, 11 to 16 year olds. And what time's that? That starts at 6.30, 6 to 9 on Fridays. Okay, and how yeah. much is that? That's free. Yeah. That's free. Well, that's good to know, isn't it? So that's uh, yeah. 11 to 16-year-olds. Yeah. 
Oh, and that's on a Friday. Friday night upstairs in the studio. So that's worth knowing. That's yeah. lovely. And then there's a, what else is there? There's a sort of health and wellbeing. And really what day is that on? That's on all the time. They, they've, got a, they've got their own space. They, they do all kinds okay. of things. For, so there's a lot going on yeah, there, isn't there? Yeah. 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 And, and you can book and hire places. Exactly. And, yeah. Amazing so place. It is an amazing place. So um, should we have a look at that out here yeah. a bit? <laughs> Sorry. Um, do you want me to stay with you still? Yeah, yeah. Just for a minute then. I know you're going to busy back. Yeah. So um, this is just the... Uh, the whole thing is the whole thing is it's a community space, bit by bit we do it up as we can afford to. So this literally was done last week. Oh lovely. Uh, the floor and here. Did somebody donate this or? No, it's just we've got a bit of funding, so as we get a bit more funding, mm -hmm. we're kind of up the level yeah, of the Who did that funding come from? That actually came from the um, lottery, National Lottery. Oh, that's wonderful then. Oh, yeah. That's good. And this is, this is the garden, there's a little small stream river down there, but it's a bit overgrown at the moment, so we're just looking at how to. Yeah. That's an absolute just this sort of time. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of lovely out here. Yeah, it's so. lovely, it's lovely area. So let's go back through and have a look at the. Um, <laughs> Pizza, they might have. They might do pizza, actually. Well, I've eaten here loads of times, and the food's brilliant. Yeah. It's excellent. The food's beautiful. Yeah, it's a lovely area. So, um, what time is the uh, restaurant open? Uh, till about 11. 11. Yeah. So, it seems like a really good place to come to. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so, we're going to go up the stairs now and have a look at the, some of the rooms that you can hire. When we come back down, we're going to look at some of Faye's artwork that's all the way up the road. Okay, so we'll be two minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hire a space, hire a desk for an hour or a day oh, or a week, so that's so people just kind of some regular and, and, and they, what they put the, what they use the computer and the yeah the printer and, and, and the printer and the internet. So how much is that to hire? Pounds an hour. Pounds an hour. It's written somewhere, but it's, okay, it's, it's basically good. it's basically the aim is to make affordable. Yeah, for so, everybody. Yeah, affordable system. Then these that's are lovely. studios huh? and stuff. So, so who's this in here? That's Paul. That's Paul. Who's there? The guy who came and was going to talk to us at the bar. Yeah, he's an old. So yeah, I'm sure he'll. Excuse Paul. me. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. We're just going to have a look at Paul's oh, artwork. Another oh, artist. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you want to put the right. Well, he says he's over 100, but I don't know. Yeah, well, 101 <laughs> since you've lost uh, last week. Oh, oh. So you don't look a day old. Uh, you don't look a day old, older than 99, you were about to say. Uh, oh. So this is your artwork, Paul? This is, uh, this is my, yes, my, my studio. Come, come through here. Okay. You'll see what's um, on the stocks at the moment. Um, How long have you been in here? Four and a half years we have. Okay. We? It's uh, February last four years. Oh, yeah. Four and a half years. Well, where's this one? Um, right now, this is St Bridget's up the back there. You know about St Bridget's um, uh, Chapel. Yeah. You know about St Bridget and Little Jim's Man, isn't it? Yeah. And built the chapel up here, and then it was enlarged. And that dig took place in the spring. Okay. Uh, it had been dug before, but they wanted some new dating. Mm. Um, and uh, they knew they'd probably find some graves. So we oh, found yeah. some bodies. Um, you found some bodies? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So what did oh, you burials. Do? So what did you do with the, the bodies? Well, you can't just do anything. You have to... <laughs> 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 yes, uh, here's a bunch. <laughs> 
<laughs> All bones carefully have been sent to Durham University for dating. Mm, lovely. Yes. The, when the dating is done, mm. All the finds, including mm. presumably some bones, will come here mm. for an exhibition. That okay. exhibition depends on how fast Darren do their work, but we're anticipating maybe they'll come here this sometime in the sort of late autumn. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, that's a dig, mm. and I, I go along and do drawings like that, mm. and then I re rearrange what I, I think, well that, that's the start of my thinking, mm. I think that, and I've selected another, um, a lot of back sides aren't there, mm. um, then I, I put that one mm. in to make up the composition and then okay. wh what I do mm. is draw out s some yeah. ideas yeah. and then I do mm. this so mm. that I can mm. get it bigger mm. um, there. Mm. This one behind me is the other dig, mm. which was over there at the Lakeland Villages. Okay. You know the Lakeland yeah, yes, Village. Yeah, yeah. So that was last year. Yeah. And that's different because... And what did you find there, anything? Uh, no burials. No burials. Um, they seem to have all disappeared um, because of the wet conditions. Um, but... Um, they did find some pottery and so on, and uh, found out things about the age, yeah. and they revised their age. That this wasn't as this is about 90 BC. Oh wow! But they thought it before they thought it was 200 BC. So they updated. So that's what I've been doing. So are you here most days, Paul? Uh, Difficult to say. I mean, yeah. it, when, you know, when I have to, what I do in this sort of weather, I'm, uh, I would have done it today if I had another other things. I go out and do sketches like that. See that top watercolour, yeah. which is fairly traditional, and the watercolour um, I will use back here to make a more abstract painting yeah. with heightened colour. Yeah. And as you can see mucking about with it. Yeah. So I'm going to take like something like nice. that and then I, yeah, I, I reorganise it mm. and, and uh, use great. my... It feels like sort of something you see in Spain. <laughs> it's, it's really good. So, uh, so yeah. what's your surname then, Paul? Branson. Branson, okay. Branson. And you, yeah. do you live in Glastonbury, Paul? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, in the Roman way, just right. around okay. the corner. All right, lovely. Yeah. Okay, well thank you for letting us see your artwork. It's very interesting. You're here in the red brick building, which yes, is lovely. Do you like the space? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely space. Light. I mean, the light is good enough to um, really get to about four o'clock on the darkest yeah. winter afternoons. Yeah. Which, of course, you need okay. okay. Thank you, Paul. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. So that was. That was Paul Branson, who's hired a space here in the Red Brick Building and doing some really interesting work. So I think he's, you can get a hold of him here most days, so that's quite good to know, isn't it? And he's dug up this old burial ground and it's really, really sort of uh, interesting. Yeah. So um, I'm going to hand it back now to Tim, who's just going to tell us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so this is just for Coral Orchard, this is a gallery, obviously it's been used as a gallery for now. Studio. This is like the higher space where we do all kinds of yoga and dance and yeah, drama here, isn't there? Yeah, drama and uh, kind of cheese. How much is it to hire this room? This is twelve pounds an hour. That's really good, actually. Yeah, I mean the aim obviously is it is a community place. So we're trying to make things affordable, and also trying to do flexibility. So depending yeah. if people sometimes can't afford things, something yeah. better than this, then we do. We're trying to make it work for everyone, which is yeah. quite a tricky model now. Yeah. But you know, it's not purely, it has to be sustainable, mm. but you know, it's fundamental. So, so if you'd hired something for tw £12 an hour, mm. would you have to have a big deposit or would no. you just pay all day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, either way, I'd pay yeah. all day, I'd pay in advance. No, no, it's, I mean, we're trying, like I said, we're trying to be friendly and for everybody, yeah. but we have to make it work, we have to be, 
professional enough yeah. that we want to keep it quite relaxed and yeah. informal. It's yeah. like strung it up down until the time. Yeah, I did that quite a few of the mindfulness courses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 carried it around. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. Cool. So, um, and so there's some more here. These are quite, these are. Oh, okay. Okay. Those are very commissioned out, very nice. Yeah. That's a guy called John Marcelo. You might have heard of John Marcelo. Yeah. He, He's an amazing cosmologist, but he runs wooden books in town, beautiful, oh, beautiful right. publishing. Okay. But he's, yeah, and he's probably top, one of the top cosmologists in the country. Really? Well, I mean, he's absolutely, he's absolutely brilliant. Really? So he does, um, uh, he's awesome, he's incredible, really, yeah. Oh, he, does, wow. uh, he does these amazing presentations about, about all the design in the universe, basically, you know, so the way that the sun and the moon... Does he do like talks here? Oh, find it, amazing talks. Every oh, so I'd love yeah. to come to that. Yes, yeah. actually, and he's the one who worked out, I don't know if you've seen that, the beautiful drawings of the map, of the pattern that Venus makes in the sky, because it does, it draws this extraordinary pattern in the sky over 13 years, so he, he kind of worked all this stuff out. Wow. He's a... He's like top saver geometry guy and all this yeah. kind of thing. So he, really he's very, very interesting. Yeah, so that's yeah. his. his... Sort of yeah, 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 definitely. And this one is obviously another. It's just, I don't think you can get in there. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. I've all gone home. And, yeah, and, that's and, and she does all this sort of stuff. And yeah. What's her name? Well, there's eight different artisans in there. So there's oh, like right. an animator called Charlie who does like this. He's French. He does this amazing. I mean, it's not all like that. He, he, he does this kind of sort of 60s, quite sort of glamorous, sophisticated stuff. Mm. Then there's a lady called Susie who does all the cloaks. Mm. Is that Susie Dell? I don't have a second name, actually. I have another cloaks. Oh, is that her name? No, that was her name. Sorry, I think she's Susie, yeah. Yeah. And then so Sylvia, Sylvia does the hats. So some really lovely stuff yeah. going on. Quite creative, yeah. Yeah, and... Um, yeah. So really, it's to phone you, really, isn't it, to find out more information, or is it okay to just drop in? Yeah, it's absolutely fine just to drop in, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Nikki's always, well, Nikki's the, who, who does most of the bookings, and I'm the yeah, answer, yeah, yeah. so okay. I make most of those. Okay, well, we're going to just have a quick look at Penny's artwork now, yeah, okay. and, um, and, <laughs> and drawing. Excellent. And, um, so, well, thank you for speaking to thank me you. today, and um, hopefully yeah. we'll meet again soon. Yeah. And yeah, your name actually. is Tim? Tim. Tim. Knock. Knock. Okay, okay. <laughs> thanks for meeting, friends. Thank, thank you. Yeah, Many blessings. What thanks. was your name again? Danielle. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay, nice thank you. Bye. 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 So, kind. Yeah. So we're going to go back down the stairs now and just start walking through Faye's artwork because that's who we come here to see today. <laughs> so we're going to. No, is that right? So should we go down and then walk up? Or? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do that now. And she'll talk you through some of her stuff. You're right, Grace. Holding that camera. Yeah, why? Should we look at it? Stop. Mum, should we start from here? No, we're going to do it from right down as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, Faye, how did you come about um, doing the artwork here today in the Red Brick Building? Um, I actually had a, an exhibition at Bridgewater Art Centre, mm. uh, which I found uh, was available on the internet. Yeah. Um, I displayed my work there last October, and uh, a person from the Red Brick came and saw my art. And out of the blue, and asked for you. I got an invitation to show my work here, yeah, which is amazing because it's yeah. such a fab place. So this is the reception area, isn't it? So some of your work's here, isn't it? So there's some um, some cards people can purchase. Yeah, that's new, isn't it? I've that one before. That you? Yeah, they're yeah. just um, they're yeah. like big cards, but. Yeah. Um, so, so, um, genuine artwork. So, is this your comments book? Yes. For people to come and tell, say what they think of your work. Uh, and there's also cards from Julie Lovelock yeah, as well. Because she's got her exhibition here today as well, isn't she? And this is going on for a, a couple of weeks, isn't it? Till um, the September. first week in September, yeah. 
Okay, so, so uh, everybody's welcome to yeah. come and have a look. So, oh, should we start over here, isn't it? Yeah. It starts as, you, as soon as you walk in. This is my artwork. They've all got their own titles. But um, if you read underneath, there's a little explanation about what each part of the piece is about. Can it fall over? Do you want us to do it? That's it. You're right. Have we got it? <laughs> right, the flamingos come alive. What was that? I used to say pretty flamingo. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Uh, this so, one's quite. Uh, this one's called First Date. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and what this is about, if you read the bottom, it's her first date, and she looks stunning. Whilst he, on the other hand, is dressed down and wondering where to take her. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so each one's got uh, an explanation. But you connect with. Who do you connect with in your, in your artwork? Energies from other planets and other yeah. dimensions uh, yeah. after I had a, yeah. a UFO experience nine Actually. years ago. So it's like channeled, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, each piece would probably start off with one line or sometimes just a dot. And I never know how it's going to work out. It's all done with normal gel pens. Yeah. That's alright. Okay, do you want to go there's an obvious thing here, we need to go ahead and show Grace what. This is um, some of Julie's work. Yeah. Because um, it's channeled, most of it, uh, some of it's about messages for the world today. So that's man versus nature. The black figure on it is man and he's going like that to nature and it says underneath man is seen in this picture as the black and silver figure he's not working with nature as she would like but she just serenely carries on producing her magical work so because the work's channeled um, there's lots of um, messages come with it there's a bit there about who I am One. That's called um, Flying Colours and this expresses the wonderful colour and beauty of nature's wildlife in all its glory. Yeah, it's lovely. The dragon bird's quite interesting because uh, what that does is like that promotes lines of kindness in a powerful image. So in ordinary day life if you meet somebody who you find is a bit overpowering or scares you a bit there's always a kindness at the back of it that you don't see. All you see is the first image. Yeah. And actually inside the softer sides. Yeah. And that's what that's about. Yeah. 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 I think that's always what they see, aren't they? No, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Illusions and behind the veil, isn't there? This is uh, called feminine energy, and this is all about um, capturing the movement and colour and the nice shapes of feminine energy because it's a different energy to masculine energy. Yeah, yeah. So it comes across as really feminine and more flowing. Yeah. Whereas this one, that's, um, that's called energy source, and that's different because that's got male in as well. Uh, and you see the, the energy things are far more prominent as uh, so that's flowing, that's like because yeah, yeah. you've got that there. This is the um, distant traveller. The maiden stares into the crystal power mm. to connect to the distant traveller. Mm. He brings wisdom and, net and technology from the universe. A strange writing is his greeting of peace. Sometimes I get writing like that, 
and I can ask for it to be translated. Translating, that was just a greeting of peace. Mm. Yeah. That one's quite similar to the dragon bird, and that's melting the ice maiden. Mm. This shows that a gentle vibration can emit acceptance of love to the most rigid of regimes. So the rigid of regimes is being portrayed there as like the Egyptians who were a really strong race of people. Yeah. But he's coming more from a nature and a gentler side. Yeah. So what he's actually doing is approaching her on a different level mm. so that she can reveal all that she knows and all the wisdom, yeah. but if he came the same as her, yeah. he would be challenging her. Yeah, but he's not. But because he comes in that way, melting the ice maiden, mm. she lets him in. Mm. So that's what that's about. Yeah. Oh. That one's called, um, it began with peace. And that's the creator. The creator sits while beautiful visions of life emerge. And as this progresses, the sun, the moon and the earth watch and learn. So what's happening there is um, the silver bits are the shards of energy from the universe. The bird picks them up. The beautiful um, lady of the sea emerges. And that's, that's the, um, the bird and the man on the leaf who yeah. are happy to grow in nature. Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's good because I don't look at the older <laughs> Um This is the vision. Lots of times in life we get a bit lost in like um, the vastness and the pace of today's living. And the vision is uh, when we connect to the vibration of the planet, we immediately feel calmness of our evolving flow. This gives us the ex ability to experience peace and tranquility. So um, that refers in a way to a meditation or going into nature. And once you're in silence, then you're connecting with the planet and the planet's vibration and it just brings back that calmness and serenity back. That one just represents a mother's love and how it all comes together and, and like the mother's the prominent figure there because she's the one who yeah. gives all the love just like yeah. you don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one was called just chilly just and that chilly. just says time and space are one of the most important things we can ever give ourselves and it's just to remind you that yeah. you can do that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This one's um, the seahorse. The seahorse is one of the most magical and beautiful creatures of the sea. The mermaid is happy to be in his presence along with the colourful friends. So that shows you, like, under the sea, everything gets on together. They all get on together. Doesn't matter what shape or form you are, they're all happy. Sorry, they're all happy to live with each other. So that's what that's conveying. This is turning the tide, because um, very often when we come across creatures that don't know anything in a human form, although that's a mermaid, the creatures will probably shy away because they're scared. So this is called turning this tide, and what it basically says is coming into another space can be many things, but kindness and trust can bring a oneness of overwhelming beauty. So the, the message to there is like, if somebody comes to you and they're not quite sure or they're a bit bothered about it, you need to bring out your gentle side and, and as you work with them, so that calmness comes in and um, releases the barriers. Okay, that's lovely. So we've got a couple more over here. But really, I do feel if people want to get the benefit from your work, they have to come and see it because there's only so much you can show on the camera. And um, it's something you need to come and look at yourself to get the inspiration, also to get the feel of what Faye's put into this uh, amazing work pieces that she, of art that she's done, which has been 
obviously Channel for Magna Planets, but so you need to come and see it in person, really. And it, it doesn't cost to come and see it. You can come and see it for free, and you can get um, and get your own take and feel on the actual bits of paper um, on the on the um, actual um, art, you know. So. Um, but nobody else can see it, so everything that's behind the figure reading the book is what's in the book. So that's the visualisation, and it's mine. But it was pointed out to me afterwards that um, the guy looked really like um, Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, yeah. And so I did get a little picture of Isaac Newton, and he is very much like him. If you can compare the two. Yeah. yeah. It's quite interesting that one. And what about the, the black one? That's called um, giving, giving and receiving. And um, that's all about the moon. How full influence the moon is given to the beautiful maiden. Well, the unseen helpers watch the magic unfolding. So basically, that what, that's what that talks about. That when it's dark at night and the moon's there, it still brings energy down. And there's lots of things that we don't normally see that come out in the night. So that's, that's it. And um, if anybody wants to say any more, I've got a website yeah. called um, www.galactic-r.co.uk. All right, well, thank you for letting us see your artwork, and we've had a lovely tour around the Red Brick Building with Tim, and, um... Sorry? Shall we show Julie's art as well? Oh, um, yeah, Julie Lovelock's art here as well, and there's a couple of pieces on the wall here, but as I said, you can come and see Julie's and Faye's. Um, it's free to get in at the moment until September, and, um, you know... As I said, the best that you can do is to actually come and see it yourself because you can't really get the benefit from just quickly going around with the camera. You do need to come and see it. And um, as I said, it's an amazing place to come and visit, eat, drink, and also meditate 9.30 in the morning. I mean, there's so many things going on here. Just come along and see what, there's bound to be something for you. Anyway, and once lot, again. A lot of the people who work here work voluntary. Yeah, so there's a lot of love so going into this place. If anybody wants to come and spend some time doing voluntary work, I think yeah. they might be welcome as well. Oh, so, sure. as I said, come, come along and experience it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, Danielle Silver Medium, and um, have a good day. Thanks for listening. Bye.